Hi guys, I'm here with the Asus X52C and uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, RAM upgrades. So recently I've been seeing a lot of laptops going from this, allowing you to take off the panel and being able to upgrade the RAM easily and really you don't need to take it anywhere or take apart the whole laptop. It's just really simple. And then to the, the newer models, which you have to do a whole strip down of the computer straight through to the motherboard and remove the motherboard as well. So uh, as you can see, the first thing I've done is I've removed every single screw on the back. Um, what you've got to keep in mind is that there's different sizes. Uh, you've got the smaller ones for the back end of the laptop. And then you've got the longer ones for the rest of the areas. So remember That's that. not the same for every laptop though, is it? Not the same, but for this specific model. Okay. Um, so as I've removed those, what I've done is I've just opened the laptop and uh, I've taken these plastics off with a spludger. Uh, I've used a metal one, but I'd recommend using a plastic one because um, you will damage the plastics. Um, and the keyboard cables, mention those. Okay. Yeah, so as well, you've got two cables you've got the, tra the mouse pad and the, the keyboard, um, which fits into there and there. So, when you lift this one up, you've got to be particularly careful to pull these out. Don't just rip this top part off. Anyway, so to get to the RAM, I will have to strip down the motherboard, uh, I will have to take out the hard drive and all these cables. It's a real FML moment when you look at this because kind of like you just want the memory to be this side up. So design, bad design from Asus or Asus, whatever you want to call them, I think. Anyway, you can't even remove the battery. It's shocking. Consumer level laptops right now, bad design, non repairable really. So anyway, go on then Harrison, let's get you unplugging this and have, let's have a look at the, let's find this RAM. So I'm just going to remove the screen cable first. Um, you've got to be careful to remove this tape because you don't want to pull back too much as you're going to rip off the, the safety around the cable. So that's out there. And then now we're going to remove the battery. Um, this seems to be one that you May have to lift up, yeah, Steve. I'll get your nails out because I don't know. From there nails. up, but so it should again a plastic spludger would be ideal for this. Um, uh, no, maybe it's yeah. Maybe it's like that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There it comes. So I, all I did was pop it out from the side. That's okay. good. So uh, we need to remove the hard drive. So he's doing that. I'm just going to take this motherboard cable out as well. Right, so I'll just pull that one back, um, like so. Lifts that, don't have lifts that little arm up. I'm doing it from the back, but it's actually the front. So I'm going to lift it up from the front, like so. And then we can just pull this one out using the blue, like so. And there it comes, like that. Okay. The hard drive's coming out. And just having a quick look around the board, see if there's anything else plugged in. We've got the Wi-Fi cables here. Um, we should be able to leave that in situ. It's screwed into the board, as you can see. So we can just lift that. Um, sometimes you need to remove the fans, but again, these are screwed in from the other side. So that's okay, stuck so in. There's an audio cable underneath the motherboard, so you've got to be careful with that one. Yeah, um, so it's just the speakers there. So we just pop that one out. Um, the man with the nails does it again. Okay, just grab a cable, just deliver it. Don't recommend doing this at home, but just gives me a little bit more to get in. One angle. Let me do it, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can get my thumb behind it now. Just ease it out, there we go. Okay, so, screw here. So, this is, not quite budget and leg it, I would hope. Hope we don't come across like that. We are professionals. And you may be asking why we're not using anti-static bounds and things like that. Um, you know, a true professional might do that. Um, but to be fair, 
We've never had any issues with static in the office. And You've been electrocuted, though. I've been electrified, yeah, <laughs> a few times, you know. Both Just... have. Right, so motherboard easily comes out. Yeah, um, lift it slowly. We're going to take those Wi-Fi out. Yeah, okay. So? On the flip side... The RAM's oh in build. Oh my god, fail! So no, no <laughs> upgrades available on this board, funny enough. How not to upgrade the RAM on this model. Okay, so... It's in the, build there. So we've got RAM here. Uh, what's this got? Four gig of RAM? Four gig. So it's two gig on this side. And then if we flip it on the other side, we've got another two gigabytes here. And it's embedded, therefore uh, makes this particular model of laptop very cheap. So, yeah, total fail, I'm afraid.